in this particular equation, the sweetest part of it is where we substituted the value we got for our x into this equation to get 15. It was so amazing. So I would like you to watch to the end to see where I substituted the value we got into this place and how we did it, okay? Welcome to my channel once again. Let's get to the point. So we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equal to 15. So this simply means when you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, according to the law of indices or exponents, you are going to pick one base and you will add the powers, right? So we pick one base and we add the powers. Therefore, since we have the same base, we are going to pick one and we are going to add the powers. So we have 3 to the power of x plus x plus x is equal to what? 15. So this implies that 3 to the power of x plus x plus x is what? 3x is equal to 15. At this point, the only thing we can do now is to introduce logarithm into the equation, right? So let's introduce log to both sides of this equation. So this implies that log 3 to the power of 3x is equal to log what? Log 15. Okay, now let's use the power rule. The power rule states that when you have um when you have log a raised to the power of b, that this is same thing as b multiplied by log a. Okay, so if we should do that here, if we should do exactly the same thing here, so this is the same thing as <clears throat> 3x multiplied by log 3 is equal to log what? 15. Okay, so let's divide through by 3x, sorry, let's divide through by log 3 and by log 3. So when we do that, we have that 3x is equal to log 15 divided by log 3. Okay, perfect. Now, at this point, what do we do next? Log 15 can be expressed as log 3 times 5, right? So we have 3x is equal to log 3 multiplied by 5, okay, divided by log 3. Okay, but the law of log reading states that log AB, okay, is equal to log a plus log b, all right? So if we do that, that means that we can express this as what? 3x is equal to log 3 plus log divided by log 3, okay? Perfect. So what we have now is 3x is equal to log 3 plus log 5 divided by log 3. So that is what we have here. So we can write that 3x is equal to log 3 divided by log 3, right? Plus log 5 divided by log 3. Now this, we divide this. We have that 3x is equal to 1 plus log 5. Now, log 5 divided by log 3. Log A divided by log B is same thing as log what? A base B, okay? So, we are going to express um, this in this form. So, if we do that, so this becomes log 5 base 3. So, we are looking for the value of X. So, we need to divide both sides by 3 divided by 3. So when we do that, we have that x is equal to 1 plus what? Log 5 base 3 divided by 3. Perfect. Now I told you people that the, sweet, the sweetest part of this is not actually getting this. The sweetest, part, uh, the sweetest part is being able to substitute it into the equation and getting the solution. Now let's get to it. So our x is equal to 1 plus log to base 3 of 5 divided by 3. So let's substitute it into the equation and 
see if we can get a solution. So I'm going to stay like this. I feel more comfortable like this. So this is the equation, the three to the power of x multiplied by three to the power of x multiplied by three to the power of x is equal to 15. So that means this is what three to the power of one plus log to base three of five divided by three plus multiplied by three to the power of one plus log five base three divided by three multiplied by, we are going to need this. Okay, multiplied by three to the power of one plus log three base five, log five base three divided by three is equal to 15. Perfect. So when you look at this, we have three raised to the power of three. Since we have the same base, right? We are going to pick one base and we are going to add this to this to this. And when you add the same thing three times, it's like multiplying that thing three times, right? So this same thing as three raised to the power of three brackets, one plus log to base three of five divided by three. All right, is equal to 15. This is too long. Whew. We don't need this side anymore so that I can draw my line. Okay. So what do we have now? Three, mm, three raised to the power of three brackets. Now this same thing as one over three plus what? Log five base three divided by three is equal to 15. So if we open these brackets, we are going to have three to the power of what? Three multiplied by one over three plus what? 3 multiplied by log to base 3 of 5 divided by 3, right? Yes, is equal to 15. Now, this we divide this, we have 3 raised to the power of 1, right? Yeah, plus now this we divide this and we have log 5 base 3 is equal to 15. Now, according to the exponent law, it states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, right? So let's express this in this form. Thank you to, for staying to this particular stage. I would like you to comment in the comment section. I did. I did. And I'm going to give you a very big hug for staying to this particular extent, okay? For staying to this point. Okay, so we have, um, this can be expressed as 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of log 5 base 3 is equal to 15. All right, there is this logarithmic law that states that a raised to the power of what? Log a, b is equal to b, okay? And we have something similar here, right? Yeah. So that means that this is same thing as what? 3 multiplied by the whole of this is what? 5 is equal to 15. And 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 is equal to 15. So this proves that we are right. Thank you so much for staying till this end.